Welcome back to Marcus Media, a channel that talks about video production, photography, and drones. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your very own wireless video transmitter DIY. A wireless video transmitter is a great addition to a photographer or a videographer's toolkit. It enables you to transmit whatever it is that you see in your camera onto a remote monitor for someone else to view. Some applications of this and the most popular is live feed on events where your videos are being projected onto big screens or being shown live on Facebook or YouTube. This enables you to go around your location without the hassle of lugging around a long and heavy cable that could eventually trip someone and cause an accident, right? If you're a studio photographer and you like to shoot tethered, this could also replace your tether cable so your models can preview your images real time. Or you can transmit your video feed onto the director's monitor when shooting short film. So first, we need the wireless video transmitter and receiver. Now, you can see on the back that this operates on 2.8G and that it needs 11 to 12 volts. But I have already tested and confirmed that this works with only 5 volts. Pretty neat, huh? So on this end is where you connect the power. Red is always the positive. And on the other end are RCA and uh, power output connectors. We will not be needing this power connector, so I'm getting rid of this. The receiver looks about the same. It has the same markings on the back. Uh, but it doesn't have the power connector, it only has the RCA. Now, if your camera gives analog video output, like most DSLRs, I think, then you're really much good to go with this. Uh, but, as I'm using a mirrorless camera, and the video output of this is through HDMI. So, I'm going to need one more module, which is an HDMI to RCA converter. This is what it looks like. Looking closely, we can see that the input is HDMI, it says input right here, and the output is 3RCA. Our wireless module doesn't transmit audio, so we won't be needing these um, audio outputs. On the side right here is a power port, which is a USB Type-B Mini, and this can be powered by 5 volts as well. On its side, is a PAL NTSC switch. So all I gotta do now is hook up an HDMI cable through this and uh, the transmitter on this end right here. And I'm going to power this both with, with four AA analog batteries which is equal to uh, 4.8 volts. I've already confirmed and tested that this setup works. What I'm going to do now is tidy all this up, give it a more presentable look. So I'm going to remove these from their own shells, do a little bit of soldering. I'll probably remove these uh, jacks right here and cut this and solder this directly onto the board. I will open this up. So there are two screws here, the one is here and the other one is uh, being covered by this sticker. Okay, so let's unscrew them. Okay, and this is what the inside looks like. Okay, see that? Okay, we will not be needing this. Now that we know what the inside looks like, let's pry open this thing right here. I'll get me something to pry this with. Okay, now let's take a closer look at this circuit right here. This is the transmitter. Okay, this is the antenna. Black and white is the ground. And uh, the, this red one is the video. It's just right there. This one is 5 volts. And this one is... I don't know. I'm only interested in the ground and the video. So, I'll grab me a, a pair of scissors and I will get rid of this. Okay, I'll also, I'll also cut this from here. Right there, okay? And pull this off. I have black and white for my ground and this will be 
my video feed which I'm going to solder onto this will be where I'm going to solder this red wire and the the black and white wire will be soldered onto this part right here so I'm also going to remove these jacks right here because we won't be needing them anymore so for that we will be needing a soldering iron Okay, so I just uh, removed the, the jacks from here uh, and I've already soldered uh, the video wire from this circuit onto this one. Now I'm not an expert on electricals but I know that both circuits share the same ground already because I connected this circuit's ground with this through this wire right here. So, if I power this up, all I need to do is to connect the positive feed of this circuit to the same power supply in here. And I don't need to wire up the ground because that will be redundant wiring. And the way I'm powering this up is uh, I cut off the supplied USB cord here. And I'm just gonna wire this to the battery pack that I'm creating. And then put it through here. And then hook up the positive feed with this so there it is my circuit is now completed so now that our circuit's been taken care of all there's left to do is create a, a new casing for them and figure out how we would mount these batteries okay so what i'm thinking is i'll 3d print a new case for them which includes a compartment for these batteries <laughs> Luckily, the old housing for the HDMI converter could easily fit both of these circuits. So I could hot glue the transmitter circuit on here. I'm going to have to run this positive wire outside so I could wire it later. And then put this back to how it was mounted originally, like so. Then I can cap it off. like that and then the power i'm going to use this the supplied usb cable i'm just gonna put it on here and then join the two red wires and then mount a battery pack on here or here somewhere now i found this from my scrap box this is a uh, an antenna from an old usb wi-fi adapter and this works 2.0 8g as well so it will hopefully work perfectly with this antenna i'm gonna probably strip this off and then insert insert this wire onto this and fingers crossed this works also to be able to mount this on top of my camera i am going to use this this is a cold shoe i'm going to probably bore a hole in here and then insert it through here then i will put this which is an exact perfect fit for the thread so the thread has something to catch on here so let's do just that now i can't find my glue gun anywhere so i'm just gonna do this old school by burning this glue stick with a torch so it's now in there and not going anywhere now i'm going to return this on here okay. oh before I do that I need to I need to put this on here it's in there tight looks like I do not need to attach this plastic on here okay so now i'm gonna attach this let me remove this first okay okay line it up real good uh, 
there. Now this fits exactly on here, which is the original hole for the jacks before. Look, so I could just glue that in there. Yeah, it'll be, and it will be pretty. <laughs> Okay, let's put it in here. Okay. Put it back here. Okay, and the power so I'm gonna join these two here like so now I just need to figure out how to mount the batteries I'm gonna mount the batteries on here Okay, so it's been two weeks since I last worked on this project. That's because I had to wait for this battery compartment that I ordered online. I paid 77 pesos for a pack of two of these. This battery compartment comes with a cover and it holds four AA batteries, which is perfect enough for the type of battery that we are using for this project. And one other good thing about this battery compartment is it comes with a switch. So I don't have to mount another switch on the system. And the way we are mounting this onto our system is like this. You can see that they almost have the same width. And with this in place, I've made a few revisions onto my design. Now what I'm going to do to power this is I'm going to use other one of this um, USB cables. I'm gonna solder this directly onto wherever these two leads are soldered. So I'm going to have to open this and mount this like so, so that when I attach this here, we only have this piece of wire going onto here, like so. And I'm going to make a hole through so I could just fish this red wire inside through the hole on top here so we don't have this red wire sticking out and we will only have this black wire exposed okay so let's do just that <laughs> have to make a hole through here and through this and solder it here first we need to attach this and the way I'm doing that is with a double-sided foam tape <laughs> Now it looks neat and okay. 
question is, does it work? Let's find out. So today we are out in the field and we are going to test this DIY transmitter if this really works. This is the receiver and this will be mounted onto this monitor. This monitor only has HDMI in and this receiver has RCA output. For that, I am going to need an RCA to HDMI converter. So I could plug this in here in the input and this would be the output and the other end goes into the input of the monitor now both of the receiver and the converter can be powered by a power bank now this is the receiving setup i will now walk away with a camera and see how far i could get before i lose the signal okay let me power this on hopefully you guys can see that so let's power on As you can see, it is working. Let me back up a little. And from here, I start to lose signal. So as you can see, this is not giving me much of a distance. So here is the camera and there is our monitor. So here they are side by side. There are no wires in between. So as you've seen, this thing works. It doesn't give me much of a distance though, but it works. So is it a fail? I don't think so. Considering the very little amount of money that I spent on this build, I think it's a win. If you have any questions about this build, be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching. See you next time.